Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 2 assignment 2 answers of the course Database Management System. Please subscribe my channel. I will give you all the assignment answers of this course in this channel. Share the videos with your friends who are doing the course. Now this is the first question. Here two relations is given and the operation between student info and course enrollment produces the following output. And this is the output. We have to identify the operation. So the answer will be natural left outer join. That is option B. And if this is natural join, then it will just print 101 and 102. Then Elias, Bob and math physics. Okay. This 103 will not print if it is natural join. Now question number two. Consider the following table game inventory. So this is the table. How many tuples will be returned by the following query? So here you will see the base price is greater than select average base price. If you calculate the average of these base prices, then you will get 2341.66. Okay. And the base price which are greater than this base price are this first one, the fourth one that is uh, G412 and G609. And between these, the reality in legendary and epic. So these two will paint G412, uh, 412, G609 and uh, this uh, G101 okay because this is also under legendary so there will be three tuples will be returned now question number three consider the relation instances of game inventory now which game id will not appear in the output select minimum game id from game inventory group by reality so the answer will be option d that is G503 now question number four consider the following instance of employee projects now which employee ID will appear in the output of the first query but not in the output of the second query. Now select employee ID from employee projects where status is equal to active and project code like PX percent. Okay. So the answer will be E307. That is option C. Now question number 5. Consider the following table student courses. Now select distinct course code from student courses where grade equal to A. So the answer will be CS101. That is option D. Now question number 6. Consider the following instance of table student records. So identify the correct create statements for this table. So the answer will be option C. That is create table students records and this is the code. Okay. SQL query. Now option C will be answer for question number 6. So I will explain all these questions in a separate video. So if you want then please comment below this video that you want the explanations of every question. Now question number 7. Consider the following instance of river details. River name length country relation. So the answer will be option A. Okay. This is the river name and this is the length. Now consider the following instance of river details. River name, length, country relation. Now what will be the output of the following query? So this is the query which is given. So the answer will be option B. That means only Nile will be there. So option B. Now question number 9. Consider the following instance of river details. Now identify the correct SQL query to get rivers from China and Egypt. Sorry, China or Egypt. So the answer will be option C. Select star from river details or country in China, comma Egypt. Okay. So option C will be the answer of question number 9. Now question number 10. Consider the following instance of river details and identify the correct SQL query to find the river name and country details for rivers with length between 2500 and 3000. So the answer will be option C. That is, we have to select the river name and country from the river details table and where the length between 2500 and 3000. Okay, that is option C. Now question number 10 is option C. So please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video and I will explain the uh, every questions in another video. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.